Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we're going to have a go at dyeing some plain paper, but we're going to try using some of these little crepe paper streamers. So, do you know, I ordered these, I think it was on Amazon. They weren't much money, just only a few pounds. And I really wanted some blue and pink ones, but they only sent me one of each. So I'm a bit gutted about that, but we've got all these lovely colours to try. So I've got these, I've just set them all out just in colour colour order. And I've just got some plain, just normal plain paper, the A4 paper that we often use. So what we're going to do to start with is just pick one colour to give it a go. We're going to try a couple of different things. I have no idea if it's going to work, but if it does, it will give us a nice way of colouring some paper for um, our journals. You can colour card for card making, journaling, anything like that, scrapbooking, the junk journals. So let's give it a go and see if it works. So what we'll do is we will try the purple one first. So I'm just going to unravel it and pop it in to a tub. Now these tubs are just little cheap plastic ones that I picked up from B&M but they're not really very thick. I am going to use boiling water um, but just be careful. I have left it a few minutes but it is quite warm still. So I'll put some in, grab a spoon out the drawer. And I don't really know how much will need to go in but can you see it's the colours coming out already so we've got quite a few purple so it's just going to be a case of putting some in giving it a mix round and seeing how the colour comes out that's a really really pretty colour isn't it and what we can do is we can do different effects with them as well I've got a few different ideas of some effects we can do so I'll leave that one for a second. Let's just have a go at, let's say, the red one. But you can buy, I know years and years ago when I was young, you used to be able to buy packs of crepe paper. Lots of shops used to sell it. Um, big, like, um, flat strips. I don't know if you remember it. Um, maybe places like the craft shop in Clanton Noble would sell it. But look at this. Now I might put some gloves on when we're doing some of the um, actual paper colouring because um, I don't know if it will stain my hands and I did also wonder if we could use some food colouring you could probably just use that that would be good as well so I'm going to put another one in there and maybe some extra and we'll leave those to soak but the colours are really bright but what we can do is when we when we've left them to soak, if we feel we need to put some more in, you know, we can just put some more in. So I tell you what, I'm going to make up a small amount of this pink one. As I said to you, this is the one that I wanted, the pink and the blue. And they only literally sent me, actually I'll use a smaller tub for that. They only, only sent me one. That's so annoying. But let's see if we can get some pink. I won't put too much water in just in case. But you can see it's slowly, slowly coming through. So I'll do a few of these and then we can see if we need to add any more of the crepe paper streamers inside. Right, so these have been soaking for a little while now. So what we're going to do is pop some paper into a baking tin. Now I have done a previous video on how to tea stain paper. If you want to watch that, I'll try and link that below. Um, obviously, this is a similar thing, but a different technique because we're using the um, the crepe paper. I don't know how deep it's going to come out, but we can sort of, you know, trial and error that. I'm imagining that the red one is going to be quite deep. Um, so I'll pop a layer of paper in and then I'll put a few but I'm going to do some, try and do some different effects. So maybe put some, let's turn that over. Leave that to soak in there for a little while. So I'm do a few of the purple. You can also dye paper with other things, including avocado skin. just might leave that just to soak just for a few minutes and it doesn't matter if you don't get it all covered because that would look quite nice anyway and then I'm going to tip out 
this extra bit so that we don't really need. We'll pop this in the oven. What I thought might work, I've got some strips of purple here. Let me get some bits that are not broken. Maybe just lay those on. I don't know if some of the colour will come out and sort of sit on the top. see just getting a few different effects let's peel this one up right I'm going to put this now into the oven what I'm going to do now while that's in the oven is I'm going to do a few more I um, might try and do the pink one and then we'll transfer some of the colours into these little spray bottles um, because when they come out I'm going to sort of spray them with different colours and see if we can get some different effects so I'll probably try and do a pink one even though I haven't got much I really did want some pink paper I've just got this tin out of the oven they're not quite done yet but you can see I don't know if the camera's picking it up that one's a bit purpley um, I think they look lighter on the camera actually than they are in real life but they are looking quite good um, what I'm also going to do is I've got some gloves on because I'm going to mix up some colour using some food colouring as well so I've got no idea how much um, ratio you need so I've just poured some water in a bowl and I'm going to start and pop some food colouring I've got some red here um, let me give that a little stir I used quite a lot of food colouring, but pop less in if you want a more subtle or pastel look. That seems quite strong. I'll probably put too much in, but that should make some nice, nice colour. So I might do a few sheets with that just to see how that comes out. I've also got some blue food colouring I can use as well. I'm just going to show you where I've got to so far. I've taken out the orange one and we've got some different effects with those. Some of them are sort of lighter. And I think there is one somewhere that's a little bit orangey. Oh, there it is. Let me turn that over. Can you see that's really quite orange? And I love the speckles on that as well. I think that looks really good. This one here is the purple. And can you see the strip marks that I, that I put on there? So they're more sort of pastel, really light colors. Uh, this is the pink. You can't, I don't think you, you, you're going to be able to see it in the light you've got there. But I think, yeah, it's definitely not white. It's definitely got like a pinky tone to it. And I'll show you as well. I've got this out. This is the red food colouring. I absolutely love this. So it's more, it's given more of a pinky feel. But look at that. And that's with the red one. But I really love that. So I've got some blue food colouring that I've put in as well. That's in the oven at the minute. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, and I've also put some of the colours in spray bottles. So I thought I'd spray a couple and maybe pop those in as well. I've got some of the tubs here that I'm still working on. So um, I'm just trying to keep track so I, so I can really show you what they look like. I'll do a bit of this green, but I've definitely found that by using the actual food colour in it gives you a much deeper colour I think I probably put too much food colouring in I really went for it so I think that's far too much to what I put in but if you want sort of deep colours um then that's good so this is the green and it is really light so I don't know how that will come out I'll just sort of squeeze this on I'll just do maybe a couple of sheets of this and then pop that in the oven as well. So, but no, it's quite good. It's quite fun doing it. And it's it's nice to see what different colours you get because you won't get one page that's the same. I might try and stick another sheet in there. I thought I could probably also do some card as well. So I'm thinking maybe pink or the blue in the card would be quite nice. 
but your oven does have to be on and people ask me how long does it take in the oven what i tend to do is i drain the water off as you've seen me do and then i put it in the oven and i watch it so i put it on 180 and i watch it i don't know if that's equivalent to gas mark five maybe maybe wrong now i don't know um and i watch it um and then when they start to dry like the top part start to dry i then take them off and then leave the bottom ones in there so that is what i do i'm just going to tip these bits away and then we'll put these in the oven but these look really really light i'm not sure if we'll be able to tell these are green at all but with green food coloring they would be really quite green just before i put this in the um, oven i'll just put some green strips on I'm just going to see if that will give it a a different kind of colour and make it a little bit deeper. Right, look at this beauty. I had a little mark in my pan, which is really annoying because it's left a dot on a few, so I've moved that out. But these are the blue ones, and I think they are a really nice. They've kind of come out a little bit turquoise, I think. Um, but I think they're lovely. So all these look pretty much dry. So this is what I do. I just kind of start and take them out. And then maybe if the bottom few are still wet, I'll just put those back in. But cool, look at that. But these seem to be pretty dry. So they're the blue food colouring ones. Wow, these have come out really nice. These are the red crepe paper ones. So they're a deeper red. The others come out a little bit more pink, but these do look a little bit pinky, um, I have to say. But they've come out really, really nice slightly different colour to the others but yeah I like those right next stage now I've got these really lightly done these with I think it was a purple and I'm just going to spritz a bit of the actual food colour in on those and then just pop those in obviously we're going to have different blobs I think that looks really cool there's going to be different projects we can use these for we could also that, do this on one Come on, when it comes out so there's all different let's put loads on that one so there's all different kind of effects we can do you can build up different colors so you can obviously use your spray bottles to get different effects as well. I might spray a couple of the others because these were quite light. These um sort of quite light colouring and um, might spray some of the others as well and just see what effects we can get with those. I've also found if you get your spray bottle, um, I'll see if I can show you with, with holding the camera as well, and you kind of swoop it down like a spray action, you can get sort of more coverage and then you'll probably get little blobs like that as well so sort of rather than just squirt kind of do a big swooping spray i found that works quite well as well but we've got the two tone there you could even just leave that like that so i think that looks nice here we go so these are the colors that i've done there is such a variety there i absolutely love them so we've got a mix of the crepe paper we've got a mix of the um food color in uh, and I just think they've come out really well. These here are the crepe paper ones. I think the, the yellow in that is really vibrant. You've got some lighter yellows as well. And there's just a real, real super big mix in there. So I will iron these because I do like my paper to sit a little bit more flat. Um, so yeah, I will iron these before I use, use them. But there are some really, really beautiful colours. So obviously they're the plain colours there. What you can also do, I just showed you, was the spray in these ones have started to come out um, these are thicker these are on like not really thick card but thicker than paper uh, and i think they look nice too but i might just maybe spray a couple of these um what have i got in the spray good i've got a red and i think i've got a blue so i might do some extras maybe on a couple of them just to see what effect they are and just show you those but i've really enjoyed making these so hopefully um, I've inspired you to have a go because imagine the colourful journals that we can make with these. They'll be really, really fun, won't they? And sort of summery, you know, but the summery colours, maybe with the oranges and the yellows or even autumns, you could mix those in with browns and things like that. You do a really, really vibrant 
with this red here that would look absolutely fantastic um yeah they're pretty pretty cool so um it kind of opens up lots and lots of um new doors doesn't it of um different crafting ideas and things that we can do and i bet so many of you because i know lots of you so many of you are now thinking i could do that i could make a really really cool journal with that so you know imagine doing like purples and pinks and you know it's endless absolutely endless you could even do black um you can buy black food cutting you could even do those that would look cool maybe with some silver um markers or gold markers you know the list is endless so I'm just going to spray a couple of those and then I'll show you them when I'm done. And here we are, they're all done. So these are the ones that I've just finished. And what I did was I used the spray bottle and I literally just covered the whole lot. And I got loads of different kind of effects, but I really love this one on the top. And it's like that both sides. But here we've got some really, really lovely effects with that. As I say, just sprayed it all over. And so I've done lots of paper ones of those. And here we've got some card. I did some card as well. And over here, I just did some I did the red. I think it was the red food colouring. But because the paper was a little bit crinkled on the top, look at the really nice effect that that's given. So there's some really, really pretty colours that I've got here. And I'm really, really pleased with them. So I'm just going to iron them. I won't show you that because all it does is just literally flatten the pile down like that. But I think they look so much prettier when they're, when they're crinkled to show you guys. I just wanted to quickly show you, I've ironed all the bits of paper and I also made some quite light pink down there as well. So I thought like a baby pink would be quite nice. So I just wanted to also quickly show you a few of the pastel colours. These were made from the streamers and they've really dried really beautifully. They've dried darker. So obviously in the video, they were a little bit lighter there, but I think they're really, really pretty pastel colours. I'm getting ideas already. So I'm going to put these into some kind of little books and make some journals and goodness knows what with them. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful the, uh, the pastels came out with the streamers. So that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I've really enjoyed making them. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do and give it a thumbs up if you like it. You take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.